So you have decided to start yoga. Fantastic decision. But you are still unsure of going to a yoga studio. And when it comes to a home yoga practice, you just can't find the right sequence to begin with. You are at the right place. This is Shakti Yoga with Shelly. I am Shelly and I have the perfect 15 minutes sequence for you so you can begin with your yoga practice. Let us all stand straight on our yoga mats, feet parallel, spine straight, shoulders relaxed. We will begin with some gentle joint rotations. So send your hands behind you, interlock the fingers, stretch your arms down and as you breathe in, look up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, look down, bringing the chin towards the chest. Inhale, look up. As you exhale, look down, bringing the chin to the chest. Inhale, back to center. As you exhale, turn your head to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn your head to left. Inhale, center. Gentle movements. Turn your head to the right on the exhalation. Inhale back to center, exhale to your left. Inhale back to center, exhale. Now as you inhale, tilt your head over your right shoulder. Exhale back to center, inhale and tilt to the left. Your shoulders are still relaxed. Inhale, tilt over the right shoulder. Exhale back to center. Inhale and tilt over the left shoulder. Inhale back to center. Nicely done. Now bring your hands in front of you. Interlock the fingers. And now we will shrug the shoulders up and bring them down. Inhale, you shrug your shoulders up. As you exhale, roll them back and bring them down. Nice. Now reverse the rotation. You push them back, bring them up and roll them down. Shoulder rotations five times clockwise and five times anti-clockwise. Now as you inhale, stretch your arms out to the side. Make a fist but your thumbs are pointing out. As you exhale, bring your arms in front of you, thumbs touching each other. So one, inhale, big stretch, exhale, thumbs together. Two, inhale, stretch, exhale, thumbs together. Three, big stretch, exhale, arms out in front of you. Inhale, stretch, four, exhale. Five, big stretch, exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms, exhale, thumbs together. Now release your fingers and start rotating your wrists. Two, three, four, five. Reverse the rotation, four, three, two, one, relax. Now, send your feet away from each other. The distance is two feet distance. Hands at your hips and start rotating your hips. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse the rotation, just the hip movement. Big circles and gentle movements. Warming up the joints of the body all right from here. Stand with your feet together. You can either have your feet together or you can have them comfortably apart. Now bend your knees, hand at your knees. And we will do knee rotations. Start with the knee rotations. Two, three, four, five. Reverse the rotation and keep looking ahead. Nicely done. Okay, coming back to the standing position. And from there, gently sit on your mat. 
your sit bones touching the mat, your back is straight, shoulders relaxed, legs out in front of you, staff position. From here, stretch your toes out and then flex them in. Point them out, bring them in. Three, point out, bring them in. Four. And now, rotate your ankles. Reverse the rotation. Five, four, three, two, one. Now bend your knees, bring your feet together, draw them in towards the pelvis. Interlock your fingers over the toes and start flapping your knees like the wings of a butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Keep going. It is a fantastic stretch for the groins, inner thighs, improves the blood circulation in the lower body and increases the flexibility of this region. In your mind, you can count till 15 to 20 and continue with the butterfly asan. Keeping the back straight. Now from here, still maintaining that position, gently bring your knees as low as you can towards the floor and stay there. Straight spine, straight arms, relaxed shoulders and absolutely relaxed face. Now, place your hands on your shins. Inhale. As you exhale, draw your navel in towards the spine and bend forward. Your elbows will be pointing out, out towards the side walls. Inhale, rise back. Exhale, bend again. See if you can sink in a little bit deeper this time. Inhale, rise. From here, keep your right knee bent and straighten the left leg in front of you. Now shift your torso towards the straight leg. Inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, bend towards the straight leg, left leg. Plant your hands on either side of your left leg. Don't force your body. Just stay where your body is comfortable, keeping a straight back. Keep looking ahead or if it is available, you can place your forehead on your knee. Relax your shoulders. Inhale and rise all the way up. Exhale, arms by your side. Now stretch your left leg out to the left side. And we will be doing a side body stretch. Stretch your arms out. Inhale and extend your left arm towards the left side. Then place it on the mat. Now inhale and take your right arm up towards the ceiling. Look up towards the ceiling with an open chest, open and wide. Now you can either stay here or if your body allows, you can sink in a little bit deeper. Feel the beautiful side body stretch you are getting all the way from the waist to the right fingertips. Take a deep breath in, come back to the center, straighten your left leg, release your right leg, shake your legs. Now we will do it on the other side. So we bend the left knee this time, the right leg stretched out in front of us, shifting the torso, inhale, arms up, exhale and we bend forward towards the right leg this time. Again, listen to your body. Go as deep as your body allows. If your upper body is away from the right leg, have your hands by the sides of the right leg and maintain a straight back. If your chest is touching your thigh, right thigh, then allow your neck to relax. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, arms by your side. Now stretching the right leg, out towards the right side, left knee still bent and now arms stretched out, 
Inhale and extend towards the right side. Place the right hand on the mat. Exhale and take the left arm up towards the ceiling. Gaze at the ceiling. Tilting from the waist. A wonderful side body stretch and a chest opener as well. Keep your chest wide, shoulders stretched. Inhale back to the center. Relax your arms. Release your legs. Now sitting with our legs stretched out in front of us, knees and feet together, toes pointing up. Inhale and stay there. Now inhale, take your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward. Wherever your body takes you, as deep as the body takes you. If your chest is in contact with your thighs, then you allow your neck to relax. Head, forehead touching the knees. Paschimottanasana, seated, forward, fold. Keep breathing through the nostrils. On the next deep inhalation, you rise all the way back to the center. Exhale, arms by your side. Now maintain this position, but sit at the top of your mat, at the back end of your mat. Okay, from here, we are going to hip walk. What is that? Have your hands in prayer position and slide forward. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all the way from the back end of the mat without lifting the hips. We are sliding the hips forward. We are going to the top end of the mat. Nicely done. Let's do the reverse hip walk. So slide back. Keep your back straight. Shoulders are relaxed. It's the abdominals, the core muscles and the thigh muscles that are working right now and allowing us to slide back and forward on our mat. Nice. Now place both your hands on the left, slide your legs in and under your hips. We are in thunderbolt position from here. Place your hands on the mat and come into the tabletop position. Wrist and shoulders in one straight line, hips and knees in one straight line. And from here, we will do cats and cows. Inhale, drop your belly, widen your chest, look up. As you exhale, you curl your spine, chin to the chest, drop your head. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. As you exhale, you curl your spine, drop your head, bringing the chin to the chest. Cats and cows, beautiful stretch for your spine. Sync the movement with your breath. When you inhale, you are stretching, expanding your chest. As you exhale, you curl your spine, you curl in. After cat and cow stretch, we are going to lie on the mat with our belly, our stomach facing down. We will be doing Bhujangasana, the Cobra Pose. So have your feet together or just hip width apart. Okay, from here, place your hands by the sides of the chest. Elbows pointing back, in and back. Inhale and you lift your head and chest off the ground. Exhale, come down. Hands are still by the sides of the chest. Inhale and lift up for Cobra. See if you can lift the belly button this time. Exhale, you come down. Inhale and come into Bhujangasana one more time. See if you can lift yourself a little bit higher. Look up if it's okay on your neck. Exhale. Come down, relax in Makarasan, make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead there. Keep breathing through the nostrils. And then turn to one side and come onto your back. Lying flat on the mat, we will do a full body stretch. Feet together, take your arms above your head. As you inhale, point your toes and stretch your arms. 
big stretch to the entire body from the toes all the way to the fingertips. As you exhale, relax, bring your arms by your side. And now we will do abdominal breathing. For that, bring your knees together and feet slightly apart. Right hand on your belly, left arm resting by your side. Close your eyes and breathe. As you breathe, focus on your belly. See that when you inhale, your belly goes up. As you exhale, the belly comes down. Focused breathing, inhale, the belly goes up. Feel the movement with your right hand. As you exhale, it goes down. Inhale, the belly rises. As you exhale, it goes back. Deep breath in, the belly rises on the inhalation. As you exhale fully, the belly goes back. Deep breathing. Gently release your pose, extend your legs, arms by your side and relax for a few minutes in Shavasana. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.